Our newsroom has been flooded with phone calls and emails with concern that the Ebola virus has made its way here to the Rio Grande Valley. So we came here to the Texas Department of State Health Services to get some answers. This afternoon, I spoke with the regional health director who says as of today, no one in South Texas has even met the criteria to be tested for Ebola. In order to even be considered for testing, you must have traveled to a known Ebola stricken country. That's Liberia, Sierra Leone or Guinea within the last 21 one days. In addition, you must have a high fever of 101 or higher. With no significant West African population and no major airport in the valley, Regional Health Director Dr. Brian Smith says South Texas is at little risk for an Ebola epidemic. If they've not been to one of those three countries in the last 21 days, and if they don't have fever, then they don't need to be tested for Ebola. Dr. Smith says his office has also been getting phone calls of concern, but again, there are no confirmed cases. Now, South Texas may not hold a high risk for an Ebola outbreak, but Dr. Smith says the threat of Ebola should be a wake-up call to physicians to be more vigilant when it comes to taking down their patients' travel histories. Now, it's much more likely that you're going to contract influenza than Ebola, so make sure you get your flu shot. In Harlingen, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News.